Hello, we got people joining in. Victoria, regular followers here. Hi, Victoria. She's joining in, this is great. Yeah, it's a surprise. Sunday. Sunday morning, morning. right before football. Thought we'd just jump on. Got a couple to do. Hello, Kentucky. Tank Taylor 4 says, good morning, y'all. <laughs> Hello. So we'll let some other people join in, and then I'll explain what it is. So glad you guys are here. Hello, Canada. Napping Dog 12 is here saying, uh, happy Sunday. Hope everyone's doing well. Hopefully getting a bit of a break today. Let's see, I don't want to do that one. So this is Jen. She's the artist. So there's probably a lot of newer people here. She is an Ebru artist. So the art form is called Ebru, E-B-R-U. And what she is doing is she is painting on top of water. It's uh, otherwise known as water marbling. And so this is water that's thickened with a seaweed extract car uh, called carrageenan. She's dropping acrylic paints on top of the water and she will be making a design on top of the water. And then the next step is she has pre-treated um, a silk scarf, uh, and then that has been treated with alum. Uh, that helps the colors to immediately set. So the colors will set on, uh, on the scarf, we'll pull it off, and you will see the design. So the ones in the back are her creations. And so this is, um, usually our lives are Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7, 7 p.m. Central Time, U.S. time. And so we just occasionally will hop on some other times. Jen will do it throughout the day. Just figured on a Sunday morning before NFL football, we'll go in and she's doing, what are you doing today? I help read and do the comments because- We're doing some scarves, some fall colors. Got a lot of people following you. Oh, good oh, afternoon, awesome. butterfly child. Hello. So if you see the colors don't even mix, they just, colors just spread. And then she'll, we're doing, well, what pattern? We're doing- Oh, uh, we're gonna do the comb pattern. So it kind of shows a bunch of different steps that can be done. Yeah, trying to do, oh, they had fall question mark, Ashley Seifert, which I've seen Ashley before. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's trying. Um, Going for what? a fallish look here. What about orange? <laughs> they want that, orange in there? too much? I could do a little orange in here. Rose Fire Arts wants to know, do you prepare the paint in any way? Do you do anything with your paints? Oh yeah, each paint has to be individually prepared to get it to float on the water. And it's mostly thinned down with water. Um, once in a while, a surfactant has to be added in to help them open up. Well, thank you. This first time here, this is beautiful. Oh, Julie Vaughn, that's you. so nice. Um, the end product will be a silk scarf. Oh, uh, D. Raven is asking, are you single? You're so beautiful. Will you marry me? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, the guy behind the camera is my husband. Yeah. I agree. She's but that's very a pretty. nice compliment. Um, wait, wait, there was someone who had a good question. Um, there's several good questions. I just took my fingers up and then I lost... Um, so one person's asking, do you ever mess up? And if so, do you fix it or do you go with it on the design? What do you do? Um, I go with it when I can. Sometimes I can, like we were doing a live the other day and, um, and we went to put down the scarf and my husband dropped it. And so um, I was able to swirl it back together. 
Um, but some designs can be fixed and then some I would have to just kind of start over. Schultz 850 says this is so cathartic to watch, which it is, and that's that's what we're that's part of our goal here is to kind of share a little time to just relax and escape a little bit. So the ones in the back she has done, and then she does have a website, so some people are asking it's blue. So table runners, bandanas, also does leather. So she does leather earrings, leather cuffs. I'll let you explain what you're and about to do. This is a wooden, a rake made out of wood and nails. And this is just one of the tools that can be used for designing. Several people wanted blue in this one. Oh, really? You could do it on the next one. I can do blue on the next yeah. one. We'll do another one. Yeah. Another fall, like try. Corgi Pie, uh, UWU loves the color scheme. Lots of and people lot are following of people, you. Thank you so much. She really does appreciate that. There's a little bit that. of a crackling in here that I want to just oh. get rid of. Okay. So there's, there's something that she just saw and fixed using the, the paper towel. Those are the Recycled paper, paper towels that you see in grade school bathrooms that don't really dry your hands. But they work for this. They do, they work. They found a use here. And then I have this giant rake that's the length of the tray, also this, made out of wooden nails. Mrs. Sasquatch says, just when I thought they couldn't get pretty, get prettier. Yeah, and this is actually a nice fall design, I think right here kind of looks like leaves um, so this is an option it's uh, the long zigzag is what I call it an okay play I'm sorry so I guess I cut off um, it is blueivymarbling.com blueivymarbling.com is her website and there's a link in her TikTok uh, and this bio. is another design of I'm not sure what I have it called on the site but uh, we call it scallops here <laughs> A lot of the live viewers say it looks like scallops. Tons of people are following you. Oh, nice. And then this is a sideways zigzag. I think this also looks like a nice fall pattern. That does. I do. I, yeah. So sideways zigzag. So you're kind of getting to see all the steps. Are you going to keep going? I, yeah, that's perfect. Just so you can see. Yeah. So this rake is made out of wood and three inch uh, needles. Oh, thanks for that gift. Oh, that's awesome. They really like it. All right, so then there's gonna be, here's where people go like, no, don't keep going, we like that. But watch, it but just I like to going. just show the different steps that can be done. So this is the comb, also called the non Perea design. Oh, someone wanted to know how did you get started? What drew you into this? Um, well, after seeing what water marbling was, I just thought it was so cool and decided to take some classes um, in Chicago. It was a woman that was from Turkey where this art form originates and um, just practiced it for years until I decided to turn it into a business. And then I'm gonna do one more. This is a double rake, um, and this makes the bouquet or peacock design. So she does soak the scarves in alum beforehand and lets them dry. So that was a good question, Zuzu 623-21111. Yeah, if they weren't soaked ahead of time, they would not absorb. And the scarf is gonna be laid on top of the design. Yes, I love this wave pattern. So she's got a steady hand. Uh, so this is peacock or bouquet is what it's called. You're getting lots of beautiful, so cool. Thank you. Some people for the chat just swipe to the right. Guys, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> April 1010. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, this is nice. This is... Uh, 
Genelce, uh, J-E-N-A-L-E-C-E, I think I'm saying that right, 138. This is one of the most satisfying things I've ever watched. Oh, so that's, thank that's you. really nice. That is so nice. That's why we're here, hoping to share. to mess up here. <laughs> Hold on tight. Okay. So it has to be very, um, it has to go down onto the water in one continuous motion or the design will get messed up. That's good. Like if you suddenly stop in the middle, it'll leave a big line or a white mark. So we're going for a fall look here. Love to see people take pride in their in their art and master it. That's really nice. Oh, thank you. Fall vibes. Oh, good. That's what we were going for. Trying to make a transition here. The Tancer from uh, Indonesia really likes it. Thank you. A lot of people following you, liking it, like the leaves. Can he stop talking? <laughs> <laughs> I do get that. But people have questions that she wants to share, and this is the only way we can do it. I'd rather listen to her than... Look at that. So, yeah, and this one is available. Someone's asking, can I buy it? Yeah, first person that messages me can purchase this one. On your and site, right? On my site, okay. yeah. You can message me on the site, and... Um, and this is one that I can make more than one that would be very similar, not exact, but because um, they all are one of a kind. So Rose Fine Arts wants to know, what consistency do you need in the paint or could I use acrylic or alcohol ink? Um, acrylic paint and um, you want the consistency to be milk-like. Um, and I use artist quality acrylics. The, the real cheap ones um, don't work so well. Casey Bug Creation says she wants to go to your site, which her site is blueivymarbling.com, oh, nice. but I can't stop watching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's very nice. So I'm just giving the scarf a rinse and some filtered water just to get any excess off of it. So after I rinse it, then it's ready to hang to air dry. And um, these can be hand washed um, and ironed. Surprisingly, they can be ironed on a hotter setting and it comes out nice and smooth. So I iron them before I ship them. Turned out great. I really like that. Yeah, so Let's I'm gonna hang it up one. real quick. Yeah, what would be what would be good colors to go with blue for fall? All right, so we're wanting to do blue. Somebody was asking. We've for got blue. well, you had probably about like five to ten people said blue, so I guess we're oh, gonna okay. go to the next colors. She's gonna do another one. So this is, and there's a lot of people, a lot of people following you, um, which is great. All right, so we're getting a lot of Thank gray, you. purple, uh, gray, like purple. maroon, purple, orange. Um, so. Uh, ochre blue. that would pop with the blue wouldn't it yeah ochre yeah. do i get a boat or just the live <laughs> just the live just the live people all right so if I'm um, says ochre. trying to find my maroon you're getting lots of maroon like cranberry maroon um purple grays too um let's see maybe we can do a little gray little gray okay. okay i think that's that's black. enough colors Is going that, on yeah i can get enough the black will be kind of blackish gray -ish. blackish gray okay i'm not sure about orange in there what about green i think you're getting some what about like the leaf green they like that we could do did a touch that? of that i did touch do it in the oh, last okay. one but... someone said they saw okay Okay. Could, can they be steamed versus ironed? Yes, they can be steamed. I, I don't do that, so I don't know if it'll come out quite as smooth as ironing, but yes. That was Dolce Italian wanted to know that one. Because I know a lot of people don't have irons anymore. Yeah. I used to have people come to 
my home studio all the time to be like, I don't have an iron. So hand 28, H-A-N-N-E. You should do a step-by-step -step video on how to do this. She does sell a course. So she has some kits on her, on her site, but she also created an online course. That's 99. So she takes, for those that want to learn the whole process, she explains how to prepare the water, how to prepare the paints, how to go through the entire process, preparing the, what do you call it, your canvas? Yeah, canvas whatever soap. you're gonna yes. paint on. Okay. And, uh, and then gives all kinds of uh, tips and, and tricks and, and cheat sheets to help you um, with the process. And then I'm also sharing on here all the time too, different, different steps. Yeah, so people ask questions and that's what we're trying to do. We got some calming music in the background. We get a lot of comments that people say like depression and anxiety. It just really helps them, takes their mind away for a moment. So we love doing this. So this, it does work on other materials. So you got a question, does yep, it work I, on other, other materials? I and do what a lot materials? of leather. Leather turns out so pretty. Um, I don't know if I have a, well, I have a keychain right here. This is a, a leather keychain. I'm going to be making more of these. Um, I do leather earrings and leather cups and leather wallets. Um, you can also do canvas. Um, cotton does also work, but it's usually not quite as bright as the silk. Oh, ceramic. I do ceramic ornaments too. Those are going to be coming very soon. Those were a big hit last fall and holiday season. So tons of, not to make okay, you nervous, more. but there's tons of people are now on here. There's 8,000 people watching. Oh, wow. Here. That's awesome. And there's a, okay. that is great. So, that, so we got a lot of people. So I know first first scarf people heard this but a lot of people are going to want to know what she's doing and we love sharing this art form so i'm just the moderator and help her because she can't read and do this at the same time so I try to let her talk as much as she can but as she's focused to get started this is called ebru e-b-r-u it's the ancient turkish art form of water marbling and what jen is doing here is she's dropping acrylic artist uh, quality acrylic paints on top of water. The water has been thickened with um, a seaweed extract, carrageenan. The paints will float and Jen will manipulate it and make a design. And right now she's going to be doing, um, trying to do fall colors. Someone uh, threw out there, they wanted blue. And so then uh, our viewers here threw out some colors and we randomly picked them. So we have some purple. What colors do we have? I can't even see. We've it got me. like blackish, gray, ochre, blue, maroon, green. We're just going crazy here. <laughs> and we usually have, we our lives are usually Tuesday and th Thursday nights at 7 p.m. Central. And we have two moderators that help us. But this is a surprise live, and so it's. I'm trying to get to the comments. There's so many. I'm just so thankful. There's tons of people watching. Um, blankets. That question, I can answer that one. She could uh, do blankets, but we don't because you need a, a really large tray. And the costs kind of go way up because of it's more paint and more... Um, uh, well, the, the sizing, the water that's yeah, thickened, okay. you need a whole lot of that. And that's pretty expensive. Let's see. Argentina is here. That's so nice. Oh, great. You have so many people following you. Oh, thank you so much. This is exciting. We don't usually do a Sunday morning, and we just had some time, thought we'd give it a try before all the football games start. So. JB, regards as I watch your video every day, it helps me relax oh, my anxiety. Good. Thank you so much. I'm glad. So her website is blueivymarbling.com and the scarves are between 55 to 65. She does ship in the US and worldwide. It's right there on her website. Um, and the there's a link in her TikTok bio um, as well. And I should say on Tuesday, I'm going to have a very large clearance drop where the scarves are gonna be about 50% off like end of summer clearance. Um, with some of my not so perfect scarves, but still uh, very wearable and pretty. 
And you're taking full pictures of them too, so they see exactly what yeah, they're getting. So yeah, so that's see, great. Yeah, but it's going to be a pretty large um, drop, so be watching for that. Ivy Rose 20 wants to know, do you do bandanas? I do. They're silk bandanas, but they are the same size as cotton. They're 21 by 21. Now that felt like a setup question because their name is Ivy Rose and you're Blue Ivy Marbling. <laughs> it's not. Um, so we said we do a tiny bit of green in here. Okay. They're gorgeous. Lots of people following you. Beautiful. So you're going to see the process of her actually designing coming up here. Yeah, I'm not, Normal. I can vote which one we stop at. Okay. I could do the, or I could just do a swirl to do something different. You want to try a swirl? I could do a swirl. That would be a little different. All right, something different, and then maybe do one last one with the rakes, then the next one? Sure. Okay. Do you do any infinity scarves? No, um, because they would have to be laid down flat and then sewn, and I don't sew. But I have seen people take my silk scarves and sew the ends together, if you know how to sew. Dolce Italian, she does sell um, the wallets. She's working on it. She's really... Yep, I've <laughs> got so much that I'm working on right now. Right. Pillowcase, there's a question, could you do a pillowcase? Same thing. Right, but you need a bigger, larger tray. Right, it needs to be wider. So that's why I just kind of found my way into mostly women's accessories. Um, but I did actually just purchase some um, men's silk handkerchiefs and I'm gonna be um, posting those real soon. I wanted to offer the guys something. Sending love from South Africa. Oh, so nice to have you. Yeah, so it's good. We're gonna be laying a silk scarf on top. Swim cover-ups would be great. Someone's suggesting know that. I know people have brought that up. I wish I could do that. Maybe someday. I have seen people have like gigantic trays to the point where you have to walk around it to put the paints on and design. So the first one we did was a more uniform design. This one is a little more free flowing. Men do wear scarves, they're right. Yep, I've had several yes. men buying the scarves too. But I've had a lot of men asking for the silk handkerchiefs, so I'm excited Kitch to offer that. Kitchy Summit says I'm way too OCD to do this. <laughs> But you and know I, what? Some, some so, people ask, like, like there's this is just one little tip. Like, I have one open space here where the, oh, thanks for that heart gift. Um, the paints are separated right here. And just one little trick is to put the paper towel on it, and it'll just pull the paints together. Close it up. And then I can just kind of swirl that in. Welcome to Crazy Town. We're gonna we're trying to answer questions. So I I did see Dance Ron Forever, Dance Forever Ron. Want to know? Can you talk about what's in the tray? It's water thickened with carrageenan, which is a seaweed extract. That's what's helping the paints to float. Okay, I'm ready. And her website is blueivymarbling.com. Mar and some people are saying that spot was really bothering them. <laughs> <laughs> they saw it too. It bothered me. <laughs> You could leave it because it's not supposed to be oh so perfect, but. All right, so I guess explain what we're doing towards here. Towards me a little bit. So we're, this is a 100% silk scarf that's. Treated. You can lay it down. Oh, I can? Um, it's been pre-treated in alum, soaked and hung to dry beforehand. And that it, it's a fixant that helps the scarf absorb the paint. So when the scarf touches the water, the paint instantly sets. And so that's why the design doesn't smear don't drop it yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you were here were you here when he did drop it yeah maybe I did mess up this week where did my gloves so now go I'm mesmerizing Indonesia Wales 
Holy moly. Ugh. Music's just soothing. Piano music is we're just. Oh, playing. thank you for that gift. Yeah. That was so nice. Oh. What about bow silk? and arrow? Oh, that's awesome. What about silk ties? They're wondering about that. Um, I do have some silk ties. I haven't perfected them yet because um, when you go to lay it down, it's not flat. Um, so I need to practice with those a little bit more. But I would love to offer a tie-in um, handkerchief as a set. Porto Rock 247 wants to know, do you or have you ever taught classes? Yes, I, um, I used to do in person, but I don't have that sort of setup anymore. So um, I have a course that I created um, that walks you through every step you need to know. And then I also will do one-on-one -on -one Zoom um, meetings too. Parallelograms, I like that name. What type of paint? Ooh, it's um, artist quality Ooh. acrylics. Yeah, this turned Okay, out. oh, that was vibrant. Very vibrant. Yeah. Yeah, more That's of a great. fall look. Good job, viewers. They picked yeah. those colors out. That looks good. Yeah, they're kind of different. Wow. Different kind of color yeah. combinations. So I like that. So that was just random colors that people were throwing out. And yeah, and the crazy vibrant. thing yeah. is with about 30 different colors, you can just... You don't really have to worry if they're gonna go together or work or not. I just feel like the colors never clash. The possibilities are just endless. So this is just filtered water. I'm just giving it a quick rinse. I'm trying to swish it around real good because um, I had some darker, heavier colors. Uh, okay, let's see. I have I have Eilers Damas syndrome. I would love a zebra stripe one. Do you do custom orders? Um, I do custom orders, and I do a pattern that kind of looks zebra-ish. Um, you'll see if you go on um, my website, you'll see a blue and white one that um, has a zebra-looking effect. Okay, you want to oh, show this? Yep. So we'll show you how it looks after being rinsed off, and then oh, I'll yeah. just hang it to air dry, and I'll iron it, and like it'll this. be ready to go. I like yeah, it. Yeah, so this one's available too. First person that messages me. So our website is blueivymarbling.com, blueivymarbling.com, and I get it. People want to see who's the guy behind the camera, and so I will show you just so you guys know i'm in no way uh, endorsing jen she works on her own but this is me um, i'm behind the camera um and in no way again am i endorsing her i'm just helping her out that's mr j ellis every every time i'm somebody different so Yep, someone said, don't show us Mark Wahlberg again. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, some people are like, yeah, right, you're nowhere near JLS. You're right, I am not. <laughs> we'll do one more. Wait, that is not you. <laughs> <laughs> he likes remaining a mystery man. Yeah. Oh, so this says digitize the paint application and let everyone do their own from home. Oh, I would that's love to know what you mean by that. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, hmm. if you could message me, yes. tell me what you mean. I yeah. would love to know. We've got so many people that have given us tips and advice. Our viewers, the people that we attract and the viewers that we attract, we have the best audience, honestly. Um, they've given us so many ideas and things to do. So right now I'm looking at trying to create some digital prints of my design so that they could be added to different types of products. Like a journal, right? Like Yeah, like a journal or a canvas and... tote. Um, yeah. Products that um, would be hard for me to directly marble on, but I could get the designs on them. 
Have you ever done a sunset one? Got that question. Um, yeah, we have done some of that. It doesn't, I wouldn't say it, it's more sunset colors, like in a wavy design. Purple, orange, black, green. Sports teams, abstract. I just can do colors. the colors. Yeah. Which I have done quite a bit of that. Yes. Getting brown. So she's going to do Halloween. They really want, some people really want Oh, orange, we could yellow. do Halloween because I sold the ones that I've made so far that were Halloween. Lots of so. people saying Halloween. Okay. I know, isn't it great? That's a good idea. Fall is here. I'll do Halloween. Okay. Where can they see it? Do you have a sunset looking one on your site? I, no, yeah. I don't. Um, but I have to do some creating this week so I can add one. Yeah. All right. There you go. Okay, let's see. You should do some little ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I don't know that would, if that would turn out, though. Okay. Lori Elizabeth <laughs> said I used to do this when I was young, but on my nails and with nail polish. Oh, it never fun. looked this good, though. Oh, that's awesome. Let's see. Purple. Oh, We're someone's birthday's go... on Halloween. That's got to be oh, fun. Oh, wow. Haley yeah. Jones. That's awesome. Can you use glitter paint? No, glitter does not stick to the silk. When will ornaments be available? Okay, they are going to be available within the next couple of weeks. Yeah, we're trying to... So... Last year, we sold out on those real quick. And so we're trying to get a jump on it. So she's trying. Oh, if you do orange and black, you can double as Halloween or Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> <laughs> a multi-purpose scarf. Done. Yep, that's a great idea. Oh, um, oh, Mr. Blondie, the blue zebra-like one must be sold. I'm not seeing it. How can we chat? Oh, Is that if one you before? if you just message me, um, it um. I'd have to show you where it's at because oh, it's okay. it's on the listing of where it shows the different categories, pictures of the different categories. Amber Burr wants to know where do you ship from? Um, from the Boise area, Idaho. Oh, someone just ordered a sweet baby Jane pink oh. scarf from your website. That is. You know, Thank people you. ask me what, what is my favorite design. That is one of my all-time favorite designs is the Sweet Baby Jane. Thank you so much, Michelle. So, thank you. That's Michelle Dog, uh, Dog Mama Love. Thank you. Do you have any succulent designs on your website? Um, succulent. no. Huh. I... It's hard to like do something specific like that. I can more do like leaf patterns. Lauren Adams is from Boise. Oh, awesome. This pattern looks like a peacock right now. Oh yeah. Said. Love if the I colors. added some teal in here. She does ship to Canada and her website is blueivymarbling.com. I'm not just trying to keep repeating it, but people are asking the question. Hocus Pocus, Hocus Pocus themed one would be fun. Yeah. And is our girls really like Hocus Pocus? Is there? A spray oh, can, that's... and that may be why some people are asking: Is it inks? Oh, that could be. Ah. Yeah, I put a marble in the bottom because I use a lot of heavy body acrylics. Um, and they like to settle, so that just helps mix them up. Aesthetic Girl says, I'm so sorry, I can't give you a gift. Anyone can be oh, here, and we're happy. We like attracting everyone. She that's answers very the sweet questions. Of you. It is. Oh, is there an extra do uh, drop of orange in there? Uh, yeah, Let's there's a there's a couple extra like purple and orange. Um, I don't always try to be like if there if there's an extra, it's not meant to be perfect. 
So JJ Bo, this I find this interesting. Have you ever tried an abstract black, white, gray skull shaped design? And you were doing something where someone said it looks like little skulls. You've had eyeballs. Uh, and, yeah, I don't remember yeah. how I how it ended up. It was like it just, just random. Happened yeah, just yeah. happened. So the part of it you can see is that the paint she can only use the paint that's on top of the water that's surface so you can't do lines so she couldn't squirt the paint in lines because it always opens up and goes to a circle um, in a drop format and so that's why she can't do like animals she can't draw people so she does flowers you can see those in the back background she does leaves and hearts and I think we're good with colors here so well, I would like there to be a little bit darker green. Maybe Do it. We'll try a little more green. All right. Do you need more so, orange? Because they wanted like pumpkins and that they color. They want more orange? They wanted orange. That's okay. what they wanted. I can do more orange. Um, Are you... So what design should we do? Should I keep it in circles? Should I run the rake through it? Someone was asking, have you ever kept it in just like this? Yeah. Which I think this would be fun, just kept in the circles, even though it's not like perfect and there's some random drops. Um, I do think this, it might have more of a Halloween look to it. Yeah, maybe let's, well, let's see. Uh, you're getting, oh, it looks like candy corn, rake. It's perfect, just leave it. I feel like this it's got could the be shining type to... of vibes. Yeah, maybe you just leave. I think it's one to leave. Yeah, that's fun. So uh, okay, when you just leave it, what kind of it. pattern is that called? Stone. Stone. All right. She did rake for the first one, so she'll be back on yeah. for sure. We did rake, and then we did swirl, and now we'll do stone. Um, yeah, we're. I'm on a few times a week at least. So we promise we will do a rake one on Tuesday for sure. Right? Yeah, we For can sure. do that. All right. Okay, so we're ready to lay this one down. Kind of looks like eyeballs. Yeah, I think it has a Halloween <laughs> look to it, so we'll go for it. Okay. Towards me just a little. Thank you. That's All good. Right. I'm going to lay it down. Ooh. Just make sure it soaks in all over. Sometimes the edges just need a tiny bit of help. So this one will be available too, to the first person that messages me, or if not, it'll go up on the website. Beautiful. So satisfying to watch it put down. Yeah, people really like that part of the process, the laying it down and lifting it off. The rogue orange circle is evil. I can feel it. <laughs> That's great. This one right here. Oh, well, this is Fig Newton Lover, which I love that name because I am a Fig Newton Lover as well. It says, my life is an absolute nightmare right now, and this just gave me a weird amount of hope. Thank you. Goodness, that that's gonna make our me day. cry. I know. Well, I'm glad that you're here. So sorry you're going through a hard time. Yeah, I would say this that's one of the best things about um, doing this is that this art does, and art in general, just relaxes people. And oh, that turned out great. Wow. Okay, that definitely has a Halloween vibe. Wow. Thank you for that heart. Well, thank you for the advice of that uh, from the viewers. That's great. Yeah. I like it. I think this would be one to try to do again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I'll offer this as a Halloween. Um, yeah. A Halloween choice. So what she's doing right now is she's just mixing it, uh, sorry, rinsing it with water. And she just filters her wa the water. It's because you don't want chlorine to bleach it out. Deaden the colors. So yeah, it's just... any harsh chemicals will lighten it up. Does she make silk scrunchies? No, no I don't. I uh, If I could sew, I would, but the fabric has to be laid down flat on the water. So someday I might just marble fabric and then maybe hire a seamstress to do the scrunchy part. Proud Pride Mom Forever. 
from Tucson, Arizona. Uh, price ranges for your products, for your projects, depending on what, I guess, like, what are the yeah, ranges? Yeah, like from... earrings, um, I think are 15. So I think, yeah, I, everything is pretty much 15 to 65. It's about, yeah. Does it smear? Samantha wants to know. Um, no, it doesn't. There's just, when I pull it off the water, there can be some excess on there, but no, when it touches the water, it's instantly set. Oh, Miss Idaho Blondie. I misspelled, mispronounced that last time. Oh my gosh, I'm in Southeast Idaho. I'm definitely gonna message you because oh, I can good. sew. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, let's get the front. Got the front? Yeah, I might need to. Does it, no, I think it's good. Sometimes I need to do a second rinse, but I think we're good here. So. That one turned out. Oh, that's yeah, fun. Yeah, I think we've got a good wow. Halloween design here. So. Can they see it? Yeah. That, that's yeah. awesome. So I'll have to, I'll offer this one um, as a Whoop. design choice. So I'm just gonna hang it up real quick. Pocket squares for men's suits. She just yes. literally just got a shipment of um, handkerchiefs, right? Pocket. Yep. 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 So those are going to be available um, this week. Cleaning the water. She just has to clean the surface. Anything that falls beneath uh, does not affect it because it only the the colors that are on top would adhere. And right now, believe it or not, if she laid it down, it would be mostly a white scarf with a few little colors that are, are remaining. This is Water Marbling, Abru, blueivmarbling.com is her website. Uh, what acrylic is it? It's just uh, artist quality acrylics. Yeah, and I use a few different, sorry, I was trying to get oh. those hung. I use a few different brands. Um, you can do Utrecht, um, depending on where you're located and what's available. Uh, Liquitex works. Um, golden, those are some of the big ones. And then one um, that is already prepared, that's an easy one to get started with is Jacquard. Um, it's a thinner one, but they're already prepared. So that does work. Someone said the, uh, pumpkins with the vines, try that. So maybe do yeah. that this coming week, we'll yeah. note that. Rakes? It won't look exactly like pumpkins, but I've kind of done a pumpkin-ish look. So, okay. yes, we'll do that this week. We'll do that Tuesday. Lexi Roseberg, yes, she'd have to, you'd have to dip the front and back separate and sew it together in a larger tray. So, Michaels now sells water marble paint in little bottles. I didn't know that. Gems candles. She's got to make yeah, sure that it's... Artist quality. They're gonna right? be, yeah. It'll probably be on the lighter um, okay. side. It, they probably won't come out as quite as vibrant as what I'm doing here. But you could definitely create some pretty things with that. And you do do custom orders. And so some people are asking, could you do like football team colors or my yes. son's football team colors? Yes, I can. I just like to warn people. Red is a very difficult color to do with water marbling to get it a deep, and I know that's a color that's in a lot of sports teams, but I do have um, a listing for a custom scarf where you can put in your colors and design. Wolfie Chan, uh, in the water, it's a seaweed extract called carrageenan. How do you spell that, do you know? C-A-R-R-A-G-E-E-N-A-N. -E -E okay, that will help <laughs> And them. along. The table uh, container the water is in, it's about four inches deep and she got it from, she built it. So she uh, went to yeah. a hardware store. We're not gonna say their name until they, <laughs> <laughs> someone gets the, the big one to sponsor us. But she just went to the store. They were really helpful. They cut, this is prefab. Yeah, so you can just regular. get it cut there, which is really nice. And then I, um, I screwed it all together and then used marine glue on, Try to answer a few questions here now. I used marine glue on the corners and the edges and then did some polyurethane um, to seal the whole tray. And you definitely want your tray to be white because um, you can see your colors better that way. So. Ellie, son, you're right. Lowe's or Home Depot can do it. 
They can also sponsor us because we can put in a little plug. If anybody has a connection with Home Depot or Lowe's, that would be awesome. Yes. So any last minute questions? You are super talented. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, lily pads. I could do kind of a lily pad look. So thank you all so much for being here for all the gifts today. The sharing, the liking, the just fun, nice comments. So... Thank you. We will see you on Tuesday night.